In this presentation, we're going to see how to troubleshoot compiler errors. Compilation issues can be very difficult in the beginning. So make sure that you have a reference program to begin with, which is not written by you, which, is, which can be from some book or it can be from some presentation like this or any, any good reference which you think correct. Initial compiler errors should not let you down. That's the first rule. It can be daunting. You may not be able to resolve that in a day, but keep on trying. Make sure you follow my steps, what I'm doing in the demos when you deal with Visual Studio. Visual Studio can be too big. It can be challenging if you start trying your own things in the very beginning. Do not delete the default hash include stdfx.h for the time being. Start with building a Hello World application. So you should you should right click on the project and click build always like I do. So when you get a compile error, following are the first three things to check. Have you missed any curly braces? Open, closing, have you missed anyone? Or any parentheses, which is this? or any semicolon. So each statement in C programming language should end up with a semicolon. So there is no exception. So everything should end up with semicolon. So certain keywords don't like semicolon like while, if, we will see them later. So if you put unnecessary semicolon on those particular lines then also you will get problem. So semicolon can be a problem in the beginning. Also, the variables and functions you use should be declared before, either in a header file or in your program. Otherwise, com compiler won't be knowing those things and it will be complaining about them. And make sure you remember C programming language is case sensitive. So which means that a variable with a caps and a small is treated as different variables. Again, this is my Visual Studio. I'm clicking a new project. Selecting Visual C++ Win32, Win32 console application. Entering a project name, comp errors. Clicking OK, clicking Finish. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this semicolon first. Let's see what Humbler says. So I'm going to build this project. Build. So this is called the output window. So you can you can drag this window out of it in Visual Studio. So th this is the window in which you will get all the errors. So my build failed. Zero succeeded. One failed. I have only one project, which means that 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 particular one failed. So one failed. My entire build got failed. Build failed. So what is the reason? No. So there are a lot of things. Preparing build, creating directory. So it is compiling one by one file. CL compile. So when when Visual Studio comp start compiling this particular file, which is my my file, this this particular file. Comp errors dot cpp. That's that's a file which I have written. It says that my project that file location this is a file location this is 
the line number in which Visual Studio found the error. In the in 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 this particular file, the line number ten. I'm getting this particular error. Syntax error, make missing semicolon before. So th this this error is pretty straightforward. So if I double click on that error, let me double click on that error. I will directly go into my source code here. So that that's very great thing. So Visual Studio, um, if if you look at here, there's a little arrow mark here. It's pointing to the line number. So this is this is line number ten. So y how how do you check that? So the here 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 you have the line number, which is line number ten. So here you have the line number, column number, and character. So this is line number ten which is given by here and the error is syntax error missing semicolon so yeah if I put a semicolon here and see it compiles I built again putting a semicolon yep yeah, that that resolved the problem so sometimes this was a straightforward one but sometimes this is not that straightforward. Um, so I'm putting it back to the right position. Now um, I have deleted the braces, closing braces. Let's see what compiler says. I'm going to build again. So now I'm getting some different error. Same things, my project. Um, error this is the error code C which means compiler 1075 that's that's error I'm getting end of the file found before this so this is um, th this is little more complicated than um, what we have already seen again I'm double clicking on the file it's going to line number 12 now if you look at the error you have a little bit more information so this is interesting so which means that you have an open braces in this particular line and there was no matching braces found so if you further look, you'll understand that this is line number 8. So if you go here, you can see this is line number 8. So there was an opening opening bracket here, which we have not closed. Now, Say for example, I have a statement called a equal to 10. But a I have not declared. Let's see what compiler says for this time. A undeclared and identifier, which means that we have not told the compiler what is a. So how to tell that? So I have to do this int a equal to 100 or I can just say in a there's no problem in that compiler is happy build succeeded now how about if I give capital A Let's build it. Again, same thing. It says that so this A and this A is completely different from a C program standpoint, from an identifier standpoint. So it's totally different variables. There is no relation. It's as good as B. Now if you miss an opening parenthesis, let's see what compiler says. So th this is pretty confusing. This is pretty confusing and pretty complicated. 
this this particular statement so we have more than one error from the compiler so um, so we have only there is one mistake in the program but we have more than one error it says that int should be preceded by colon um, it's mostly seven line number seven and even line number eight has some problems so this kind of errors can be a little bit tricky especially if it is happening in a big program which you have written it's a lot of errors most of these errors don't tell you any direct reason so if you can catch something here that'll be great so this is a this is the one we should we should try pay attention to so if you do that that'll get fixed so now we will see uh, the compiler error code so we have seen that C um, after that there is a four digit number in the compiler error. so those errors will help you so those error card will help you to search for that particular error as I mentioned before it may not be that straightforward especially if the error is not clear so coming back to Visual Studio so we have this particular error code so if you copy this error code and paste it in search so you will get to the Microsoft documentation of that particular error code so here you can read a couple of things sometimes make sense and will help you to resolve the issue so here you can see all the compiler errors all the possible errors you can you can get so this is a very important point more important than any of the points we have discussed so far so don't make huge programs and then compile it make small program compile it make sure it works fine then build on top of it after each five or six lines of code maybe even less than that you should compile the code and see if it compiles fine so this is if you if you follow this one single rule you'll be all right so following other conclusion so compiler errors can be a little bit difficult in the beginning start with small program and have a reference always make sure you compile every single line or every five or six lines before the program get too big so don't lose your sight and don't stop programming or hate programming because of initial compiler errors and thank you